language resource switchboard is supposed to be mostly a PR tool, but PR in a good way. I think we've designed it as not to be mostly real production tool where you do big language, uh, language data processing, but it's supposed to be a tool or environment that uh, shows you as a user or potential user of language technologies what things are available, so what can be done with my data. If by Claring community you mean us, the centers who produce tools, then for us it's a, it's a way to show that we exist and our tools exist and they can be used. I do sit on the Legal Issues Committee of Clarin and my broad view of the current legal framework in Europe and the changes that are happening now with the Copyright Directive and and the GDPR that, that we've all had to confirm with this. Um, I'm not very optimistic, I have to say, in the sense that what we see is constant strengthening of the, of the legal framework, so more and more regulation. And the regulatory framework is becoming very complicated and um, it's very hard to comply with it, meaning especially understand what it means that, uh, that I'm supposed to do. And, um, as Clarion, we've been fighting on the lobbying side for more freedom in copyright, more freedom for research specifically, uh, but not only in the narrow sense of academic research, non-commercial at academic institutions, but more broadly, uh, we are trying to promote a framework that would be more similar to the United States uh, fair use. And we are not being successful in, in, the, in that fight, but I still think that's, that's the way we should go. So from my, my perspective is that the current development in this area in EU is mostly trying to regulate big successful American companies in what they do, but instead we should be thinking about why are they only American companies that big and that successful in language technologies. Why is there no European company that can do this or that is doing this? And I believe that's the regulatory framework. The point about open science or open access in my mind is pretty easy. It's, it's the basic science done right. It's nothing else. So it's nothing fancy, nothing complicated. It just means that if you publish something and say it's a scientific result, other people should be able to follow it, to replicate it, to verify or falsify a result. Nothing else. That's, that's just open access or open science. So to me, it's just science. Very simple, but it touches the previous point of legal framework. So you have to be able to do that. We've set up data repositories and rules and promoted centers that try to get data from users into a kind of safe preservation and uh, show the data publicly and, and make sure that people can find it when they are searching for it. So that's, that's the part we have, in my opinion, mostly done. There's a harder part, in my opinion that needs work and that's that's really hard to do but i think clarin eric can play a role here in the lobbying efforts on several levels so we can keep explaining to users they should put data into our repositories but people behave economically so it must pay off in some sense to them and it can pay off in several ways but some of those ways and i think the most important ways are out of our control. So we have to lobby nations and funding institutions so that um, they help the users do the right thing by giving them credit for it. And in my opinion, it's mostly changing the credit you get. So currently, everybody aims to get publications and practically only or mostly publications that get impact factor in those impacted journals. So it's kind of very narrow scope, basically ruled by one commercial company in all the national government or most national government and funding bodies follow this particular way to decide that who gets the most credit for the scientific work they've done. Producing big data that can take you years of work and then making it accessible 
gets you no credit in this system. So that's one thing to kind of fight for. The other thing is you can require this in the funding programs. Then basically, if we give you money, you will make your data open access. But most national funding agencies don't do this now. These things can change and clearing can and should play a big role here in promoting this change, I think.